Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi everybody, it's Gigi again. And I'm here to talk about a little bit more about the fabric for our Gypsy qu uh, Wife Quilt Quilt Along with Just One a Quilt. Um, I've, so many new people have signed up today, or new to me, and I'm so excited about that. And I was laughing because, um, was it, let's see, I wrote her name down, Ali, uh, Colleen um, Conkin said exactly what I've been feeling for about a year now. I have stalked this pattern, loved this pattern, but have been scared to do it. So now we're all jumping in together to get it started. I um, picked out my inspiration fabrics yesterday, going with florals. It's going to be... Um, probably more in the girly looking venue with these fabrics I've chosen. Um, but I love them and so I'm excited about them. We have the salvage that had the colors on it that I'm saving so I can take it with me to quilt shops when I go in case I need to pick up, well, of course I need to pick up more fabric. I always need more fabric. Um, what I found is I have a lot of fabric and I have a lot of stuff left over from other projects. And so I'm sorting them out now. I'm not sure y'all can see, but I've got them on my table. I'm sorting them, I'm ironing them, I'm getting them um, by color and by um, lightness and darkness. Cause on a lot of the um, squares, it looks like you want maybe dark with light and have that contrast in there. So it really will pop. I'm also collecting my strips over here um, where I have pieces that are long enough that can be cut into the, um, they have to be the width of the fabric, which is from selvage to selvage. Um, and then you'll cut them into one and a quarter strips or one and a half strips based on the directions. And so I'm getting a whole pile of those going. Our quilt guild um, that I belong to here in New Orleans, Stitch and Sisters, we did a um, strip poker kind of thing a couple of years ago and we all would trade five inch strips by the width of fabric and two and a half inch strips. And so I still have some of those left, which will be perfect for it. And um, if anybody's ever been to Keepsake Quilting, when you check out, they give you, they tie your package up with a two and a half inch or maybe something a little bit more um, strip. So I have a bunch of those from going for the past 30 years, once a year to their little thing. Um, what I'm doing is um, just kind of going through the colors and what do I like and what do I think goes together. Um, some of it doesn't seem like it might go, but looking at what other people have done in the past, it's okay. It, um, it blends, it blends together. So I'm going with that. And then the things that I don't think I'm going to use, either the print's too big and it won't fit into the squares, I, I'm saving for another day, another project. Um, as I came across this one, I thought this might be inspiration for another gypsy quilt along or another quilt. So I'm coming across lots of fun things. I have information that I'm gathering for our first block that um, we'll be doing um, July first week, and it's the color wheel block. And I read some today about that cutting it on the bias. You can kind of have stretching with, um, which I experienced in another quilt I did, and. So they suggest doing it on paper to help hold it in place. So we might experiment with that a little bit so that our squares don't get wonky. Um, this is a lot out of my comfort zone. I'm, the colors aren't, the fabric's not, but the actual quilting, quilt pieces that are so precise and lots of pieces. So I'm hoping to learn from a lot of you. And as I already have gotten inspiration from your pictures, you've already posted things, people have already done it. Um, who are excited to do it again, which that makes me very happy. Because um, a lot of times you make a quilt and then you think, I don't ever want to do that again. 
I love that people want to do this quilt again. So, hi Steph, how are you? Paper piecing is nice and easy. Okay, good. Okay, this is also my first time to do a live video like this, so bear with me if it's a little choppy and, I'm, uh, and I do talk with my hands. Can't help that. Um, so I'll be trying to show y'all some things that I'm learning as we go along. Uh, please feel free to share anything you know already that would help us so that we can all, in the end, have a great completed quilt. So I think that's all I have to say for now. I'm gonna go back to sorting my fabric and um, I'll be in touch soon. And it's so glad to um, meet, I'm so glad to meet all of the new people who are signing up and coming to join us. Bye. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilts. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, Go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife quilt. Um, that's justwannaquilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Wanna Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>